Uh, this video is about optimizing collision detection in a game like World of Tanks. So the first thing, like, imagine that you're over here on this map and you're shooting this vehicle, which is in B5. Uh, the first thing you do, you don't want to do collision detection against all of the objects on the map. It's a waste. So what you want to do is find all of the objects in B5, and because it could be part in B5 and part in B4, you have to get all the objects A4, A5, A6, the B4, uh, 5, and 6, and C4, 5, and 6. And you're only going to do the collision detection against these objects. All the rest will be excluded. And then what you do is you have bounding boxes around all of the objects. You check to see if the ammo collides with the bounding box. If it does, you get the actual 3D model, and you check to see if it intersects uh, with one of the plates of armor, or of course it might miss. Now one of the things that you're going to notice is that some of these plates are impossible to hit. Like, I cannot hit the right side of the tank, and I can't hit the front of the tank. Uh, it's because of the way the polygon faces. You can exclude them. You can literally exclude half of the polygons from the collision detection. So basically, in the game, you have a bunch of boxes driving around. If you're using the full model on the server driving around, that's a waste of resources. You don't want to do that. You want to have these boxes driving around. And the houses will also be boxes. You'll have bo bounding boxes around all of the 3D objects, including houses, rocks, fences, etc. When the ammo collides with the bounding box, you switch, whether it's a house or a tank or any other object, and then you do collision detection only on this vehicle, only on the faces that you could possibly hit, which means you cut half of them. If you really want to fine-tune it, you check the distance. Let's say the ammo is this uh, signature over here. You check the distance between this and all the polygons. Because what it's probably doing, it might check this polygon, and then it might check this polygon, and it might check this one, and it might check this one. Check them based on their distance, because this could be, you know, thousands of polygons. If you can check based on the distance, you're going to be checking on all of these first, and you're going to be slowly moving your way back to where you're less likely to hit. Sorting obviously takes a long time, but you can pre-sort the polygons. You can have one profile if the shot comes from the rear, where it's already pre-sorted all the polygons from the rear to the front. You can have another profile if you're coming from the side, have another profile if it's coming from the front. Pre-sort all the polygons. Save them as separate files for the object model. So, again, you start out by reducing the number of potential objects to the sector where the ammo currently is. Because it's got to go through all of these sectors, right? You don't want to check it against the whole map. Make sure the vehicles and the objects are bounding boxes and not the actual objects. When they're driving around, they're just objects. They're just boxes driving around. When somebody fires, or if, or if you're too close to another vehicle, maybe you might need to, to change the bounding box. I'm not sure. I think it should be fine. But if somebody fires the gun, that's when you have to start thinking, okay, these bounding boxes are going to have to switch to the 3D model. But when no one has fired and there's no ammo in the air, just have these boxes driving around. I hope that makes sense. And then again, sort all the polygons, whatever is closest to where the ammo is coming in, and exclude the opposite uh, polygons which are facing in the opposite direction. And of course, anything that it cannot damage, such as like the, the treads on the track, or the antennas, you don't want them to be part of the object model either. It's just a waste of resources. Now, from my experience as a computer programmer, all these companies like Big World and whoever makes all these 3D engines, they never optimize the collision detection and all the other aspects of the game. They make them to be universal 
and flexible. And they'll say, oh, it's the fastest, oh, it's optimized. But they never, they, they don't know all these little tricks. They don't know them. It's, I would not be surprised if they are not doing it this way. My way is more efficient. Make, in fact, that is how Google does it. All of the virtual driving is done using bounding boxes. They don't have actual models of the cars. And when you see the fighter planes, they're shooting at other fighter planes. They do the same thing. They put a little square around the object. They're doing exactly the same thing. With, with a computer, when you have the complete objects, it's it's easy to mistakenly put the entire object in the game, drive it around the server. It's a mistake. Okay, so I hope that uh, I hope that this information helps. If you have any questions or comments, please ask.